Hi, in this video, I would like to introduce our newest STMI, which is STMI to EDP um, LC controller. This special module was designed for a smaller screen that has much higher resolutions that only requires HDMI inputs. For such, you can use on any applications, whatever you require the HDMI input, this will be the perfect module. It's so compact and so small. Uh, the size is about 72 millimeter by 51 millimeter by 9 millimeter high. So, and, and the converted inch is about 2.78 inches long, two inch wide, it's about three eight of inch high. It's really compact, small. How small is it? Sometimes really difficult to tell by the video. So here's a quarter. It's really small. So this kit's MS609 LC, our newest one. And this is the only module you can find in the market right now. This module can only go 2K. 4K would be later version, uh, different modules. But this one can only go up to um, 2Ks. Uh, this kit comes with the uh, control comes with the five button. Really nice five button touch with the Molex wires, which is connected to here. Okay. And also including one of the EDP screen wire harness 30 pins. One end, the white lights is matched up with here. Okay. So this is actually, if you want to have an inverter, some for example, some screens that you have a um, LED backlight separately, so you can use this. This is actually for audio. This one also have an audio amplifier too, it's right here. This is the input for the child work supply and this is HDMI. So it's so small, so compact. It's perfect for Raspberry Pi. So let's take a look here. I have a screen here. I want to test it, just plug it in. This screen part, this is an 11 inch screen. Uh, it's a called N116HSE-EA1, which has 1920 by 1080 resolutions. Um, so this end, here we go, this end connects to here. Okay, let's set it like that way. Okay, connects here. I have a really old Raspberry Pi. I put it in, um, in the box. It's a really old one. So basically, I'm going to connect a HDMI cable to it. HDMI cable. Oops. The cable is kind of big, so thick. And uh, here, Raspberry Pi. I'm going to connect the power. To it, see what we got here. Here we got the powers. Okay, so apply trouble. This is trouble. Apply trouble here. Be careful, this thing, this thing, don't shut the car. Okay, oops, it fails off. So we can get it back. So after you connect it, you can actually secure by some tips for the heels, but uh, that's okay. This is just demonstrations. All right. HD display. I'm not sure you can see or not, but uh, when you connect to you show HD display. So I'm going to somehow, I had to reboot my Raspberry using probably this. Oh, let me disconnect power again. So no signal to detect. So we connect the power, see what happens. There we go. Comes up. Let's put it up. Because I'm taking a video to the right. The lights play bright in in this on this bench, so it's put it up, put it up. Here you go. You see it, and then oh this one, and we also have a, a, a SKD kit for thirteen point three inch kit available, which is comes with thirteen point three inch screen. 
with the capacitor touch so you can connect to Raspberry Pi or whatever the system you have Windows system you can do all the touches those are multi-touches um, thank you for watching